all right hey guys it is john scott here and welcome to my channel i am super excited because this is my first video where i actually get to like interact um and like talk about products and like stuff that's really closely related to my blog i know lately i've been going well not lately but on my youtube channel i've really only been posting vlogs um so i just wanted to do my first video um, for you guys, I'm super excited. Um, so if you want to know my 2015 favorites, which is what I'm going to be talking, just keep on watching. Okay, so jumping right in, um, I have a lot to cover. First off, I didn't do monthly favorites. I kind of just, I started kind of like halfway through the year, so I didn't really want to like do monthly favorites just because I didn't want the other month favorites to feel left out or I didn't want to leave them out so I thought my first favorites will be a year-end favorite and that'll be that so first so um, I'm gonna start with a cleanser um, this one oops, sorry I'm like looking at my monitor I don't think you can see it well this one is by First in Beauty Fab, it is a pure skin face cleanser um, with antioxidant boosters. So this cleanser is really good if you wear makeup, it removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime, and it is safe for sensitive skin. So this one, let's see if I can get it to focus. This one works really well. Um, the thing with cleanser, so this was really good. I saw really good results. It didn't irritate my skin. So I was really happy about that. So I didn't, um, I thought I got like a solid skincare routine. That was one of my goals for 2015 or something that I really wanted to work on. Um, so with this one, I will be honest, I'm probably going to try some new cleansers just because I'm always trying out different cleansers. I feel like that's one thing that I'm never like, if I find one that works good, like this one, this one, it's like, I just felt like it really did like clean and remove stuff from my face. That's why I really liked it. And that's why when I got it, I didn't try out any other ones because I was stuck on this one, but I'm definitely going to be trying out some new cleansers. But like I said, I always try out different cleansers. So that is just, something that I do but this one's a really good one and it's not that expensive I think it was only $20 I picked it up at Sephora so I definitely recommend this one um, I will link all the products down below in the bottom bar so that way y'all can um, take a look and see if you would want to try it also you can read up other reviews like at Sephora and stuff like that most of the stuff is from Sephora yeah pretty much so the next thing I'm going to talk about is my exfoliator. This is the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. Let me tell you. I am really picky on exfoliators. Like, I have never found one until this one that I was just like, Oh my god, yes, work, this is what I need, or this is life. This one has definitely changed the game for me. Um, I didn't get irritated, I didn't, it didn't irritate my skin, it didn't really mess with it, but it does work, and I love that it's a peel, so you can just, like, feel all the stuff coming off, and I just was so obsessed with it, and I'm still obsessed with it. This is actually my second bottle, uh, and I just found this, like, not even a month ago. I'm, like, really obsessed with it, like... And that's how bad I am. Like, I'm really obsessed with it. Let's see if I can get it. Focus. So, yeah. The Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. It's, like, life. Sorry, if you see me look to the side, it's because my monitor's over here. Because I'm filming on my bed. And I didn't want it to, like, fall. So, like, my monitor's over here. So, if you see my eyes wander, it's, like, my monitor. Because I'm, like, trying to see if it stays in focus. And plus, my camera's acting up. It's not auto-focusing. I had to, like manually focus it so I'm just like oh, why why anyways so that's my cleanser my exfoliator um for mask 
I guess I'll start off with this one. So this is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. So this is definitely So that's it. As you can tell, I'm like out. So this one, this is like the sample size. I always buy the sample size because I'm like, every time I go in there, I just go in with the intent to buy the Glam Glow. But that price point, like, it's like 60 bucks. That's a lot for one part. I mean, well, you're going to see some of my other products and you'll be like, really? But it's just, I don't know, like I've heard so many mixed reviews. I want nothing but good, <laughs> I really want just like nothing but good reviews on it for me to play that price point. But I will say I did talk to a Sephora representative who um, saw me debating between those two when we started talking about the two products. She did inform me that this is kind of like a dupe because it's not as pricey. Like this little bottle is like $16. And I think the full size is 25 um, The only difference is, is that you're going to see the results slower with this one. Um, whereas with the Glam Glow, you're going to see faster results because it's a more potent formula. And it's like, it, it does the job. Like, I'm not going to lie. Glam Glow, like, I've never tried it. But the my friends who have tried it say it does its job. So I'm just like... <sighs> stick with this. I'm seeing really good results with this. It hasn't failed me. I really like it. So there's that one. Changing the game. Changed my game, my mask game with this because I don't, I wasn't really into mask. Well I was but mask like this it just it changed my life so you should really get it. Again it'll be down below. Um, the next mask is the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. This came as a sample with another moisturizer that I bought from Clinique. All throughout high school, I used Clinique religiously. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Clinique. I use it religiously. Just because they. it's a brand that is created by dermatologists. It's most of their products, I feel like if not all, most of their products are like fragrance free and anything with a fragrance usually will irritate my skin. So I appreciate that. And so this mask, I can feel it the next morning. I put it on, I go to sleep and I feel how soft my skin is when I wake up. I'm probably going to buy the large version of it because this is just a sample but that price point but I feel like I would do it just because I really like the results I got with this so definitely gonna get the full size and the last mask sorry I'm like out of breath because like right before I started filming this I was like running between my car upstairs downstairs my bags to see like where all my products were because they were kind of scattered I mean, we got it done. So the next thing, yes, the last mask are these. It's my last one. I actually usually carry, like, multiple of these. The Sephora Rose Mask. These are just, like, those, um, what are they called? Like, those peel mask, like, the mask where, like, it has the eyes and stuff. Yeah, you look really crazy when you put it on. I actually use these when I'm on the flight, so people do look at me crazy. I probably did this twice when I was on my way to Dubai back in um, August, September time frame when I went to Dubai because that flight was so long. I could feel my face getting dry. It was getting crusty. These saved my life. But I use these maybe like when I just want like an extra boost of moisture. I'll use like a Sephora moisture mask. This rose mask is just the one that I had. I literally just ran out of like the other ones. So that one. The other one that I use is the brightening one. I can't remember what the scent is. But I do use the brightening one. But this, love it. No complaints. Great, easy. And they're actually pretty affordable like by themselves. I think they're like $6 a piece. I'll have to check that. But I will link it down below like I said. 
So, yes on these masks. Next up on my skin routine, we're going to talk about moisturizers. Now, this one is a hard one just because I have really... So, I have, like, combination skin. So, I'm really oily, like, in the T-zone. Excuse me. My Starbucks is making me hiccup. So, like, oily here, but then, like, anywhere outside my T-zone, it is dry, dry, dry. It's so dry. So, I really have to watch my moisturizers. Um, I really wasn't big on moisturizer just because I felt oily when I would put it on, but just in this area, but I felt like... So, I would only apply it on the outside of my face, and I would really neglect my T-zone. Um, I keep using this to draw, but the next product is by Dr. Brandt. It is a, it's called Save Our Skin. It's an SOS cream, comfort cream. Um, immediately relieves redness, soothes irritation, and restores comfort to your skin or to your face. I picked this up at Sephora. Let me tell you guys, this cream, oh my god, literally, because I really have red spots, so I was so self-conscious about it. I still am self-conscious about it, but since I discovered this cream, like, you can't even see, I mean, you can see some spots, but you can't see a lot, and so this cream literally is life. Like, I am obsessed with this cream. The only thing about this cream is the scent. It does smell very medicated, like, from the pharmacy. Like, you can tell that there's, like, you know, it just smells medicated, like, if you've got a prescription cream. The other downfall on this, it is pricey. This little bottle is the full-size bottle, and it is $55. I remember the price because I was just like, that is a pretty price point. But when it comes to something that helps me, with, I am down to pay whatever price it is. I usually get facials like twice a month. Ever since I got this cream, I'm just like here and there, I'll get them. Um, I really haven't gotten one in a while ever since I bought this cream. I literally discovered this like towards the end of the year. So this is kind of like not fair like to be put in this favorite video, but it's like literally life. Like I am obsessed with this cream. Like, this cream goes with me everywhere when I travel. Even if I'm, like, on the go and I feel like I need to touch up my redness or, like, say I'm, I put it on in the morning, I throw it in my bag, say I'm going to go out to dinner and I feel like, you know, it's kind of, like, my redness is getting irritated with the dry weather, especially when it's cold. I just reapply some and we're good to go. So, this is not the only moisturizer I use on my face in the morning. I do put this on and I give it a good like five, ten minutes for it to actually set in my skin and like let it do its magic. So I um, will let that sit and just absorb into my face and then I will put on the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief Gel Cream. Now you're not really going to see it because it's like glass. but let me tell you, this stuff works well, but I apply very lightly in my T-zone because if I put on the same amount that I put on the outside of my face, it'll become so oily. So I'll just put it very lightly in my T-zone and then I will put more on the outer rim of my face where I'm really dry and it really helps. That though these two together, I feel like work wonders on my face. Like they are just so like just the combination between these two because I do feel like this one, once it's gone, like my face feels really dry because I've used it on on its own. But when I put these two together, it's like the perfect blend. I'm. I use, like cleansers, moisturizers, I was always trying different ones. I don't think I'm going to try a different combination just because I have been so satisfied with these two. I'm just like so impressed with them. 
I'm just like, these are going to be like permanent in my moisturizing routine because I have not had results like this good with these two creams. I'm obviously you can see like I'm running low. This one I'm not just because you don't have to put a lot on, which is what I like it because like it is a pretty price point and if I literally had to buy this like every like twice a month I'd be like all right okay maybe I do need to find another one but this one you just use like a small amount I literally just put small little drops at the tip of my fingers and I hit the areas that I need to hit and just so the same with this one I just again lightly in the t-zone because that's where I'm really oily and then everywhere else I just kind of put on a really good amount and just these two together yes I like this combination so let's see I guess this next one can kind of like it's a good transition into my beauty products I don't have a lot of beauty products okay, so the next thing is the best damn beauty best damn lip mask this is another thing that I got towards the end of the year and I am seeing great results with this mask. It is literally so good. Just dropped it. <laughs> it literally is so good and I am a huge Nicole Guerrero fan so of course I wanted to try this. Did I think it was gonna work this well? No but I mean she knows what she's doing. I applaud her like this is really this mask works really well. I am going to do a full review on this just because I had several people ask me for a full review so I'm not going to get too into this but just it's one of my favorites. It's great. Just my camera stopped filming. <laughs> so yeah full review is coming. I'm not going to get too in depth with this but yes I love it. Full review is coming. I'll probably just put it, post it on the blog, but if you do want to see it in a video review, just let me know. Comment down below. So next, let's see, that's lip. We'll go into this one. What are we going to do next? We'll do eyebrows next. Out. I mean, I don't have anything on my eyebrows today. Literally, just because my hair was frustrating me, I didn't really do anything else. Um, we'll talk about eyebrows. I feel like a lot of beauty people are going to know what brand I'm going to talk about next just because they're all about eyebrows. <laughs> so I'm being predictable. But my favorite eyebrow products, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in, what color am I? Dark brown. I'm dark brown. That explains. I hit pan on this one, I think. Yeah. So, no, I didn't. Hmm. Hmm. I'm have to look into this. But, the Brow Wiz is literally my favorite eyebrow tool. Like, just in general, I just love it. Like, when I'm too lazy to put on the powder, because I also love their powder, this one looks literally brand new. I feel like I just bought this one just because the... I think I did just buy it. I can't even remember when I buy stuff. This is how bad I am. And if you guys know... Like, if anyone who really personally knows me knows this is a common thing with me. So, like, the powder itself, too. I really like the powder. Um, it's just, like... I feel like Anastasia or ABM, I call it ABH for short... They really got it down with the eyebrows. Like, they know exactly what they're doing when it comes to eyebrows. They are on point. I have not been disappointed by any of their products. Well, I'm not a big fan of the pomade, but I think it's just because I don't know how to work with the pomade. I've literally given myself, like, the... Yeah, like, it was intense when I tried the pomade. But the Brow Wiz is, like... My favorite on the go, just quick, want to fill in my eyebrows, let's go. Love it. I mean, there's pretty much nothing that I can go over because, I mean, pretty much every beauty guru on YouTube that I've watched have talked about these products and given full explanations. They're just amazing. They're kind of, I mean, it's obviously more on the high-end side of eyebrow stuff. Honestly, to me, it's worth the splurge. I love it, so 
Yes, so jumping into the next items, we'll talk about the cheeks because that's another thing that I'm obsessed with is the highlight game. So I have the Benefit WhatsApp. What's up? So it's a soft focus highlighter for the face. It is a cream highlighter. It has a smudger at the bottom, but I found that with me, it works better when I use a beauty blender. Just because, so I just apply it here, like where like the light hits your face, my nose, keep your bow, keep its bow. And I just, I really like it. But of course, I put a powder highlighter on it and it just works amazing. Like, I get so many compliments on it when I do that and I'm just like, yes, keep them coming. Just look, look, look. I don't have any on right now, but I'm just like, look, bam, bam, beams of light are coming from my face. I obviously set it with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Let me tell you. It, like, I couldn't find it anywhere. Like, they were sold out everywhere. And I was just like, oh, really? Like, I really want it. I think I went out of the whim one day. And I was trying out the facials at Ulta. Like, I, I had heard about it. And I wanted to try it out. And I went just real quick. Because I was waiting for the lady to get ready for the facial. And I saw it. And I was just like, yes. I need this. I bought it. Glad I bought it. Again, these two, just, you put this on first, you set this with the powder highlighter. Amazing! It looks like you're a beacon. I feel like I can go on a lighthouse and stand there and guide all the boats home to shore. Because it's just amazing. I love it. Again, this is the Benefit What's Up in the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Just, yes. Um... So the next thing I want to talk about, we'll talk about my mouth is like dry from all this talking. Yes, girl, Starbucks. So I think that's it for my beauty products. I mean, I have other stuff, but it's not really something that I really reached for. I just, I have a lot of stuff. Doing two parts. There's two parts to this. There's this part, which is the video where I go over my favorite beauty products. What's to talk about? Yeah. Phone case. So, I kind of started this thing with my gym friends. Like, my phone gets passed around when we hang out. And, like, everyone takes selfies on it. Like, I have a, a ridiculous amount of selfies that are not my selfies on my phone. I probably should delete them, but I don't ever delete my pictures. Because, I don't know, I, like, if you haven't noticed, I do take a lot of my blog pictures. Like, there's snapshots from me out and about. So that's why I don't delete pictures. Because I'm like, I could possibly use that on a blog post later. Or I could use it somewhere else. So, my phone case is by Lumi. And it is the best thing in the world. It has like these like LED lights. Here, turn it on. And like it's perfect lighting for selfies. Like you have the perfect lighting for any selfie. And I just love it. It's just like, <sighs> like I get perfect lighting. Like look at that. Like yes. It's better than my lighting that I have for my recording in my room. I'm just like, like look. There's shadows. Like, what is that? And But, like, if... Look at that. Like, yes, girl. Yes. Look at that light. My Snapchat game changed so much when I got this case. Thank you, Lumi. I love it. I need to buy another one because I just cracked this one, like, not too long ago. Yes. If you're out there, You need to get this case. It's like $54. You can buy it from the Lumi website or they are on Amazon as well. Um, yeah, I think they're like $54, $50, dollars somewhere around there. <sighs> I'm so obsessed with it. And that's how I feel. Because like I always need good lighting. Like especially when I want to Snapchat at night. Like I need good lighting. And I'm not going to get good lighting because it's night. I need, I need the lights. Like I need this to be giving me good lighting all the time. It changed my selfie game. 
changed everyone that I hang out with selfie game because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have taken selfies with my phone. That's pretty much it. That pretty much covers everything I wanted to cover. Those were all of my first... That's the first half of my favorites. There's like a few other things. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want to see from me. Let me know if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Again, I love you guys. Um, and thank you so much for your love and your support. I appreciate every ounce of it. Um, keep an eye out for part two. It is going to be on the blog. So, thanks, guys. So, so blurry. I'm a Sephora holic. Yep, I said it. Why are you playing me? Okay.